welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here my name is mandy the fall season is up on us the kids are back in school which means lots of homework and extracurricular activities making our evenings a bit more hectic i have four crock pot meals to share with you today one is a complete dump and go the others do require an extra step but they're still super easy so let's dive in Tonight we are having chili verde, and this recipe is from my mother-in-law. I love her chili verde. So what you're gonna need is one pack of cubed pork or beef, and I have beef here. I'm using two packages because I want to have some for leftovers for another meal. You're also going to need one onion chopped, one medium can of green chilies and two large cans or four small cans of tomatoes. I have a can of two cans of tomatoes with the green chilies in it, so I'm going to use those and then just one extra can of tomatoes. You can also add hot peppers like jalapeno or whatever kind of hot pepper you want to add. I'm not going to since the kids will be eating this. You're going to need one toe of garlic and I'm gonna be using the minced garlic. You're going to need salt and pepper, which I don't have my salt out. I'm gonna use kosher salt, oregano and garlic salt. And then you're just gonna dump everything in the crock pot and cook for several hours. I got this recipe from my mother-in-law during my bridal shower. If you guys know someone that's getting married, or you're hosting the bridal shower, this was such a good idea. In the invitations, they put these recipe cards in the invite and they asked for everyone to write down their favorite recipe and the instructions and everything on this card. I have every single one of the recipes still to this day. I haven't made every one of them, but most of them I have. It is such a nice gift. I love this idea. So definitely if you know someone getting married, especially if it's a younger couple and they're new to homemaking, do this gift idea for them. It is absolutely wonderful. I loved it. And this is one of my favorite recipes that I got and that I make all the time. Let's get to cutting this onion up and get it all in the crock pot. This is the recipe that is pretty much a dump and go recipe. You're going to cover it, cook on low for about seven to eight hours. Our next crock pot meal is soup beans, also known as pinto beans. I do let my beans soak overnight and then in the morning I drain them and rinse them. I then place the beans back into the crock pot and I fill it with about five to six cups of water and I just eyeball it. If you guys have been around, you know I don't usually measure unless it's a new recipe. I didn't have any ham steaks to put in the beans so I just used diced ham, that's what I had. And then I also added some bacon grease and kosher salt. These beans were delicious. I let these cook on low for about eight hours, and you'll see there that I did divide up the beans. I put some of them in the Instant Pot because there was just too many in my crock pot. Today we are having chicken and dumplings. I cannot wait for chicken and dumplings. I'm gonna be starting back on keto soon, so I thought, you know what, I am going to stuff my face with some good southern home cooked meals. So to start out, I use two and a half chicken breasts. 
and then two tablespoons of butter. And I like to use chicken broth. I have two boxes out because this one has just maybe about a half a box. So I have two of those, but I just, I don't measure the chicken broth. I just put enough to cover the chicken. And then once I put the biscuits in, um, enough to cover that and make it soupy. So it's just kind of an eyeball thing. You just have to eyeball it a little bit. And then I use two cans of cream of chicken, one can of Pillsbury Grand's biscuits, or you can use whatever kind of brand you want. I really like the Grand's biscuits though, the Pillsbury. And then some pink Himalayan salt and pepper to taste. What I'm gonna do is just put everything except for the biscuits into the crock pot. I'm gonna let it cook on low for about seven to eight hours. It had been several years since I've made these dumplings. Actually, I don't think I've made them since I've had Amelia and she tasted them and her reaction, I wished I would have got that on video. It was so cute. She gave them a double thumbs up and was gobbling up these dumplings. So I am home from work now. I've changed my clothes. The chicken is done. Now it's time to add in the dumplings, which is where the biscuits come in. I just quarter one biscuit, roll it in my hand a little bit, and then place it into the chicken or the crock pot. I let these cook for another 30 minutes, and during this 30 minutes, I go ahead and prepare the sides. This next meal was a new recipe from Pinterest. I'll have that linked down below. What you need is a flank steak, low sodium beef broth, low sodium soy sauce, oyster sauce, honey, rice vinegar, chili sauce or chili paste, minced garlic, and then later you'll need cornstarch and five cups of broccoli. You first want to cut the flank steak into thin strips. And then I decided after I cut them into strips, I decided to cut them in half as well. Next, you wanna place the steak into the crock pot and then in a small bowl, you wanna combine all of your wet ingredients and mix well. The beef broth and soy sauce was supposed to be low sodium. I used what I had on hand, which was not low sodium. So if you make this, make sure you get low sodium because this was a bit too salty for us. Once the wet ingredients are all mixed together, you want to pour that over the meat, cover it and cook on low for one and a half hours. After you've cooked it for one and a half hours, you're gonna combine the cornstarch and water. I did not have cornstarch, so I just used xanthan gum. You're just thickening up the sauce. You're gonna pour that over the meat and then you're gonna add the broccoli and cook on high for 30 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you decide to try any of these recipes and you're on Instagram, go follow me over there on Instagram and tag me in your pictures. I would love to see them. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.